Hey everybody, how you doing? This is about to be a really fun video. Out at the range today with heavy metal, and today we are testing out this bulletproof backpack from Ace Link Armor. But this particular backpack is rated for level three armor. If you're not familiar with what that means, which is probably most y'all, it's rated to stop up to an AK round or an SKS round, which is a 762 by 39 round. So as you can see here, we've got a ton of different calibers out here. Some that are well below that level three rating and some that are well behind, well behind. Some of these are well below that level three rating and some of these are well above that level three rating. But in my experience, even though they're rated for a specific round, a lot of times they will actually even stop more. But I'm not even gonna try to attempt to name these right here because I will mess it up. But the smallest we got is a 22 LR. Biggest we got is a 50 BMG. Whole lot in between. Let me take you a line down the bench here at the range and I'll just real quick show you the rifles and the ammo we're going to be shooting at this backpack and then we'll go to slinging some bullets and seeing if we can stop anything with this backpack but let me show you real quick i pull it out here well you can see it right there it's got this plate in the backpack let me pull it out here there's actually different ways you could put this plate it actually has a, a pocket up here in the back it's got a different zipper in the back but I shoved it in this little sleeve that's here in the center, but there's you an up close look if you really were curious at what's actually in that backpack and stopping that bullet. I'll show you there. Ace Link Armor Threat Level 3. So, like I said, let me run you down the bench real quick, show you what all this is, and then we're going to get to slinging some bullets. This is going to be a whole lot of fun. All right, so real quick, I'm going to run you down the table and show you all of these rifles and a little glimpse of the ammo we're using. Then we're just going to have at it. You can see our rig is right there. We're shooting it about 12, 15 yards away. But starting at the end here, got a Ruger 1022 with some CCI. Then we've got a Marlin... I forget what my guns are, man. Is that the 93? No, this is the uh, Marlin 17V, I think, with the seven, Norma 17 HMR. Savage 93 yeah. with some Norma WMR. We got a CMMG 5.7 conversion with some Federal 40 grain 5.7. Then we got a CMMG 5.56 with some Barnall 223 ammo. We got a CMMG 300 Blackout Resolute with some 200 grain MagTech. Then right here, we can't skip the 50 BMG. This is some 660 grain bronze. We're going to fire it out of my Barrett M99. Then we have a Magnum Research BFR chambered in 350 Legend. That thing is a sweet revolver. Then we got my Weatherby Vanguard in 243. We're going to be shooting some 80 grain Winchester. Then we got my Ruger American 6.5 Creedmoor. We are going to be shooting 131 grain Cellier and Bellet. Marlin Model 94, not Marlin. Winchester Model 94. We got some 170 grain Corlocks. Winchester 94 and 32 Winchester. We got some Federal 170 grainers. Then we got my Mosin, and for the Mosin, we got some barn oil, what is this, 203 grain. My 450 Bushmaster Ruger American. We got some Bear Creek Ballistics, 240 grainers. Then we got my Weatherby Vanguard in 270. And for the 270, we got some Double Tap, 130 grainers. That's some powerful stuff. Then we got my CMMG Endeavor in 308. Sweet setup. Right now I got the right on X1 on it. 
And for that we got some barn all 168 grain. Then we got my 30 out six. That's a, a Remington 700 BDL super sweet rifle. For that we got some more double tap 180 grains. Then if you're not tired yet we got my Remington 770. Yeah, it's got a sweet Nikon FX1000, a Boyd stock on it, and for the 7mm rim mag, we got 160 grainers. Then, we got my Winchester XPR and 300 WSM. That's so fresh off the boat, we don't even have a scope on it, but we're still going to fire it. And for that, we got some Norma 180 grainers. Then, we got another Remington 770. That's got a Nikon P5 on it, I believe. A different Boyd stock, that's the Spike Camp stock. And for the 300 Win Mag, we got 180 grainers. Then we got my Marlin 1895 4570, and we got some real nasty Barnes hollow point stuff. This stuff is wicked. We're going to be firing out of the 4570. Then we got the CVA Cascade, that's got a Stirka S7 on it, and we got the fastest ammo out here I could find for this baby. 35 grainer, that's going about 4,500 feet per second. I'm pretty sure uh, that 2250 is going to go through the armor. Then we got my Savage 110 BA Stealth and 338 Lapua Magnum. That baby, we are going to be shooting some Norma 300 grain Match Kings out of it. And then over here, we ran out of room on the table. We have a CMMG Banshee in 10 millimeter. And what are we going to be shooting for that? Uh, some of this uh, Colt match ammo, some double tap 180 grainers. So, if you're still here and you didn't fall asleep, sleep, bleep, if you're still here and you didn't fall asleep through all that, I think you know this is about to be awesome. But let me run out here and show you the setup real quick. Then we're just gonna get to hammering it. So, check out the setup right here. We got the backpack, and we got that level three armor in there. Behind it, we have a shoot and see target. I'm gonna get a view about right here. So if anything does go through that backpack, we're gonna see it on that target there. Let's load up. I'll do a picture in picture where you're seeing us shoot and you're seeing the target at the same time. We'll stop every once in a while, check it and see if anything went through. But I know it's 100% gonna stop a bunch of this stuff, but I also know 100% it's at least not going to stop the 50 BMG, is it? I don't know. We're about to find out. Let's get loaded up and get to shooting. First shot here. I've got the split screen so you can see that backpack and the target. So y'all comment down below when you see a caliber go through. But first, CMMG Banshee, 10 millimeter. Made it move. What do you got next? Uh, 22. 22 LR. Now we got the 17 HMR. Twenty two mag. We got the CMMG 57 here. Alright, it's CMMG 223. What? Now that one, that made a lot of sound there. Now, we got a CMMG Resolute in 300 Blackout. And then, hit it, uh, hit that 350 Legend, then we'll go check the target. Alright. Good old BFR. Oh yeah. All right, now, do you think any of those went through? Uh, maybe the 223, maybe the 350. 
I'm going to say no. I bet you that backpack stopped all of that. Remember, this is the one that's supposed to stop the AK rounds. Oh, cool. It'd be interesting. So, running up here and checking the target off of all those, there's not a single mark on this target yet. Really? Yep. I told you. Huh. So that stopped 223, 300 blackout, and all that other stuff. Yeah, 350 legend is a hot. 350 legend, too. But let's load up the next through here. We're getting into some real powerful center fire rifles. So, somewhere along the lines in the next little ring, I think we might go through this. But that's pretty impressive already at stopping all that stuff. Oh, yeah. All right, what are you grabbing first? Uh, 243. I seriously want to get a hole through that thing. 243 has got some power. I love this rifle. That was loud. Yes. Then we got the 6.5 Creedmoor. Now hit him with the 30-30. 30-30. And then we got the 32 Winchester. And hit him with the Mosin. Mosin. This is a fun video. There you yes. Go. Get to shoot all kinds of cool stuff. That had some power. I think that went through it. Now, let's do two more. I'll do the 450 Bushmaster. 450, and this is not your your uh, everyday 450. And now that's the 270. 270? Then we'll go check it again. I got both the pretty rifles this time. Oh yeah. I think that went through. That hit hard. I saw dust hit behind the target. Cool. Well, let's go check it out. <laughs> okay, so on this target, looks like a couple rounds went through. But there's so much debris that came through, it's kind of hard to tell which was which. But you guys surely saw. I think, uh, let's grab another splatter target. And we'll do it again. Hopefully it's not about to rain here. All right, we're gonna hit it again. So moral of the story so far, that level three backpack armor, it stops all the military rounds, 223, 300 blackout. But if uh, somebody's got a real high power deer hunting rifle, you might be in trouble wearing that backpack. But let's load up the rest of these. We still got a whole lot of buggy going on. Oh, yeah. Shoot some more rifles. 308. This is a bad rifle. Ah, with a safety <laughs> on it. Flinch a little. I think that went through. That went through. I seen leaves. Man, you hurt. Around. You're uh, hurting my backpack here. All right, 30 out six. Another powerful deer hunting round. I think it might have stopped that one. It might have. You want to shoot the seven millimeter? Uh, no, go ahead. All right, seven millimeter. This one's got some power. Oh man. Yeah, that moved it. I think we might need to readjust the backpack real quick. Hold on. Now the. 300 WSM with no scope. I may completely miss it. Nah, you'll get it. Yeah. Wow! No scope. That's a good shot. 300 wind mag? Go ahead. 300 wind mag. My shoulder's hurting already. That really hard. We're giving that backpack a beating, y'all. 4570. 4570. 
Here we go. Man. You want to shoot the CBA? Yeah, I'll shoot them last two. All right. The 45-70 doesn't like me. That's the 22-250. This I do like. Oh, baby. All right, I tell you what, let's check it. Then we'll do one last shebang. We got with the two the big boys left. 338 and the 50. All right, so some of those had to have gone through because we got some more holes in our target back here, but y'all would have seen that in the footage. I'll see it when I'm editing this video. But let's grab one more target. I'll straighten up this backpack and we'll do 338 Lapua versus 50 BMG and see what happens. Pretty sure both of these are gonna go through. Pretty I think sure. so. This is one of my favorites to shoot. There it went. There we go. And I'm gonna shoot the 50 quick and it's raining on us, so I'm gonna have to go grab the camera. 50 BMG. Oh, I think that went through. That went through. I'm going to run back in the uh, shooting house quick because it's pouring down rain on us. Alright, so it started pouring down rain on us and I had to run and get all the equipment in. But, outcome of that vest, like I mentioned earlier, that level 3 stuff, it's absolutely going to stop all the military style rounds. Something that you might need to be protected from. A 223-556, that 300 blackout it stopped. And a AK round 762 by 39. It's going to stop all those. That armor, level 3 stuff, it's some really ridiculously strong stuff. It's pretty wild actually that it stops all those rounds. We shot it with quite a bit of ridiculous stuff just to have some fun and because we can. But hey, that backpack armor, that's some pretty cool stuff. Some real strong, surprisingly sturdy stuff stops quite a bit of rounds. So, it quit raining for the most part, and let's pull this, uh, what do you call this, man? Uh, plate, armor plate out of this backpack, and see if we caught any bullets. We know it's got some holes through it. Uh, see all the shots on the front of it. But let's pull this out. See what happened to it. We definitely gave it the business with all those rifles. <clears throat> if we can get it out now, it might have become one with the backpack. Yeah, it's stuck in there. Oh yeah. Surely we got some bullets in here. Well, you know it's got some bullets. All those ones that it stopped, it ought to be. It ought to be in here. So. What's that? Oh. No, I don't think there's any bullets in there. But, try to hold this together here quick. There's the front of it. Got a funny smell to it. And then there's the back of it. Let me count the holes in the back. I'm seeing one, two. I only see three holes through this. So, maybe some of those we actually might have missed the bag or something. Or shot the same hole. But, if you guys look at what I'm looking at, I only see three holes in the back. There's one right there, and then two right there. So, either which way, uh, that's some tough stuff. Oh, yeah. So, this plate got a bunch of this real tough whatever this is fiberglass or I don't think it's ceramic maybe it's ceramic -y fiberglass That's a good one. there's one bullet in there I think that's uh, 
Got to be the 450 Bushmaster. That's what I'm thinking. The, the rest of it. Well, here might be another one. Oh, yeah, there's a bunch of bullets right there. Oh. But, yeah. There's some more towards the back. This stuff is real stuck together real good. And then there's another one. I have no idea what that is, but big hunk of lead. But, hey, that thing definitely stopped some bullets. But, as always, a big thanks to Heavy Metal. You guys go check them out and subscribe. Don't forget to subscribe to the Hootie Hoo channel if you haven't already. Check out all the videos. We got tons of them up there and a ton more on the way. We'll see you on the next one. Hootie Hoo!